Hello everyone, I am back with another review, and today I am finally excited to bring you the Transformers Wolf Cybertron Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. Cyclonus is an all new mold in the Wolf Cybertron Kingdom line, and by far one of the best Voyager Class figures and Wolf Cybertron Trilogy figures in general, as transforms into a heavily accurate uh, spacecraft jet alternate mode and a really really accurate robot mode. We'll take a quick look at the packaging and the card he comes with. As you can see we have Cyclonus, Cyclonus's robot mode on the front of the packaging with his jet mode flying on the side the Warp Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom text down here is Voyager Class. Warp Cybertron Trilogy text up here with the Decepticon insignia. If you can't tell, even though the box is busted, he is number 9 in the Kingdom line. The side just shows the regular Kingdom artwork with all, with the majority of characters that we've seen the toy line thus far on the back shows images of his robot and jet alternate mode he transforms in 34 steps and that pretty much does it for the packaging on to the card he comes with Cyclonus comes with a card for Optimus Prime peel back the card it shows Optimus in the dead universe and I'm pretty sure it just says Optimus Prime dies in space. If you cannot tell, the the image shows Optimus in the dead universe. And for those who are or aren't aware, there is indeed a dead version of Optimus that was released exclusively in the Earthrise toy line. So we have that. For the just so you know, this is not his blast effect. He's, he does not come with his blast effect. I just felt like putting on this blast effect to show on the capability with the gun. So there you have that. As, I, as I've already said, Cyclonus is probably the best, not just Wolf Cybertron figure in general, but I... But I'm pretty sure we can all agree that he is by far the best mainline figure of Cyclonus we've gotten in recent years. Cyclonus has had a few figures in the past from the Classics Universe line and the Prime Wars Trilogy lines, both of which were good figures with Cyclonus being a combiner in Combiner Wars and the Deluxe Class Universe Classics figure from way back when. For the old, for the generations line in the early 2010s. So yeah, he is fully coated and decked out in purple, black, and silver paint on both the top and on the underside. Uh, and he cleans up really, really nicely in his jet mode with little to no robot mode shown. The only thing that is shown from his robot mode are the upper legs and his chest and torso region. And it hides pretty much everything. As you can see he comes with landing gear that you can fold up which I will show off in transformation.
and he is blast effect compatible as you can see with his gun. He has blast effect ports on the underside of on the other side of both wings, so you can put his gun on either side of the wings, like so. He does have four blast effect compatible ports on the back to as you can see now obviously you can put other blast effects. This is just a demonstration on the compatibility. He does have two on the, on the back under the wings which is underneath his arm and robot mode which I will show off later. And he, like I said, he cleans up very nice, fairly nicely. The only problem that I'm pretty sure is on most copies of the figure is that he does not want to tab in on these two sections. Everything else tabs in just fine, but this, this is just a minor drawback from the design of the figure, so it's not really much to complain about because he's really that good. Moving on to some size comparisons. Here he is with if I star screen to show off how these two jet formers compare. Here he is with if I snapdragon just because to show off another comparison with the jet formers. Here he is with Earthrise slash Kingdom Optimus Prime. As you can see with see now without the trailer, Cyclonus dwarfs him in terms of length. But but, Op, but Optimus is around the same size of him, though probably inaccurate to the real life vehicle. Now he's obviously lengthwise longer than the trailer. But with the two combined, um, Optimus is obviously longer than Cyclonus. So, there's that comparison. Here he is with his somewhat rival Ultra Magnus. Obviously, Ultra Magnus is a leader class figure and is obviously going to be bigger than Cyclonus. Now, just like with Optimus, Magnus is shorter than Cyclonus when it comes to length, and it's the same size as the trailer. So, there you have that comparison. And just because here he is with Earthrise slash Kingdom RC, who I've recently reviewed on the channel. So with that out of the way, with comparisons and vehicular mode detail, with two shades of purple that he's using a darker shade for these part of this section of the wings this sort of darker more it, it looks more black than purple it, he's obviously using two different shades of purple even I confused this for black so um, yeah that pretty much covers his jet mode so moving on to transformation, now obviously you can move his gun, but just to show off that he can transform with his gun on, I will show just that. Fold up the landing gear. What you want to do now is take what will become his arms from the wings. Split those. These, there are slots in here that tab into those pegs right there. Do the same for both sides, obviously. Then, what you want to do is come to what will be his chest section. Take this, fold that out like so. Now, to fold this panel down. See now, this, the tip of his nose cone, is easy to put back into robot mode, but when it comes to transforming him from robot to vehicle mode, you're going to need something to pull this out. As there is li minimal clearance for our fingers to, you know, fit in there. 
so yeah this is just to show off how you can do that when going back into vehicle mode close that up then what you want to do now I don't have nails right but basically just untab that fold this in like so and there you have that then what you want to do is come back here untab what will become his legs from this section then take these fold them up like so like I said you have to remove the weapon but I will keep the weapon on just to show off that you can transform him with his gun on then take all of this rotate it like so then what you want to do is untap this from here fold that down like so then take this fold it up and his head will be revealed and even I have to admit that that is some clever engineering to have Cyclonus' head fold in while the rest of the jet mode forms from inside of his torso and chest. Then what you want to do is take this, fold that back up like so, then take the legs, extend them like so, split them at the base. Though. You can obviously keep the legs together in order to fold these sections out, fold out his feet, close these sections back in like so, locks, that locks into place, so then you can split the legs. And I feel like that transformation part works a lot better than take these sections they will tab onto into those little slots then just rotate the arms around like so take the wings fold them back like so and do not forget to take this part of the wing and fold it up as that is a transformation step that I'm pretty sure some end up missing out on then obviously those untab from what will become his arms rotate the, rotate the arms fold out these sections right here, rotate the hands out like so. Now, this is optional where you can rotate the fists for transformation. That's what I like to do to give him a sort of extra step. And it's the same deal with his head, where you can rotate it. Like I said, rotating the hands and head is optional for transformation. If you want to go for an extra step. So, yeah, more or less, here is Cyclonus, the warrior, in his robot mode. And, as I said before, this is probably the best mainline Cyclonus figure we've ever gotten. As you can see, he is very, very accurate to how he appeared in the G1 cartoon and all subsequent series take a quick look at that perfectly beautiful head sculpt with the red piercing eyes, nice silver for the face, nose, mouth and all around. His face is incredibly detailed around the cheekbones as you can see. He has the two different shades of purple for the horns, the darker blacker shade for the outlines nice highlighted Decepticon symbol on his chest with some interior detailing with the sort of translucent orange plastic on the lower part of his chest and in his torso. Now one thing to note is that Cyclonus actually has light piping in the back of his head. Now if I had a flashlight on me you could see it but it is there you just have to use a flashlight or something, or some sort of light, to get the illusion. Now, the eyes are orange due to this piece of translucent plastic. So, yeah. 
nice detail for the arms where the wings just fold up on the shoulders while the back wings for jet mode are just on the arms. Nice details for the fist, nice detail for the legs with the nice silver going on for the upper legs, the thighs, and two different shades of purple for what are his kneecaps that that are detailed to be vents and nice detail for the feet with two different shades of purple. Articulation wise, as you saw, head can rotate the full 360. I I guess it's on a ball joint, I could be wrong, but it does rotate the full 360. It can look up this far, down this far. It is the neck itself is on a hinge joint. So good range of motion for there. Arms can do the full 360, they can go in and out. And what I do like is that they sculpted the interior of the arm so it's not just a clean cut, which is an issue with some figures that have outward movement for their arms. Rotation at the bicep, though it is limited due to the wing, it is doable. Though you might have to, and as you can see, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Like I said, it is doable to do the full 360, but due to how the wings don't really have a place to go on the arm, they just hit the back wings that fold onto his upper arm. As you saw, he does have wrist rotation which is good to see on a lot of figures nowadays. Waist rotation, full waist rotation. Legs kick forward that far, back to that far, a good degree outward. You can do the full splits. Thigh rotation on a swivel joint. He has a nice 90 degree bend at the knee, but if you take the leg joint, you can extend him to make him taller, but it does leave an empty gap in the leg, so that's why I keep it at that sort of neutral standard position, like so, but if you wanted to, you can do well past 90 degrees of bend at the knee, it is doable, but then that leaves the ugly gap. As for the feet, they can pivot forward that far due to the transformation, and of course we get the signature ankle rocker joint, but if you move the foot like this, you can have him basically break his ankles. Like, like this, like this is basically his whole foot broken off. So, yeah, and obviously there's no clean cut for the foot tilt or with the shoulder joint, so, yeah, he is pretty articulated, and why I praise Cyclonus as one of the best voyagers, not just from Kingdom, but from the Wolf Cybertron trilogy in general. Onto some size comparisons, here he is with Earthrise slash Kingdom, Optimus Prime, and Starscream, so you can see how he stacks up to them, obviously due to his horns. He is taller than Prime and Scream, which is to be expected, because Cyclonus was a tall character in not just his debut in Transformers the movie in 1986, but in the subsequent third and fourth seasons of the G1 cartoon. So there you have that. Just because here he is with Deluxe RC. Here he is with Voyager Earthrise Snapdragon. Just because. And for the comparison that I'm that I already showed off in his review, that I'm pretty sure some people already do. Here he is with his rival, 
Kingdom Ultra Magnus. So you can see we can have these two duke it out. So there you have. And that does it for comparisons. Moving on to accessories and compatibility with the blast effects. He comes with his comes with his oxidating laser, I believe that's the name for his, his rifle. As you can see, it is a nice silver that picks it is a nice painted silver over I believe molded purple. Yeah. If you can tell, the purple is the mold and the silver isn't plastic but paint, which I love and appreciate. As you can see, it is very, fairly detailed with these sections sticking out, nice lines and grooves for the back, this back part and this midsection, and detail for the front as well as the blast effect compatibility at the tip. Obviously, you can put it into either of his hands, and he is blast effect compatible with them, as shown with this blast effect that I'm using from my Siege Caliburst. He has a blast effect port right here, so he can get shot in the right side of his chest, he can get shot in the hip, he, he can get shot in his shin. For whatever reason, this port right here on his underarm, on his on his lower forearm, is blast effect compatible, so you can do a sort of underslung cannon thing with using that port. Now this is sort of a demonstration that you can flip up and fold in his hands to sort of make makeshift cannons so he doesn't have to rely on his regular blaster and as seen in his alternate mode as this becomes the thruster for his jet alternate mode it is blast effect compatible so there you have that obviously the wings are blast effect obviously this is blast effect compatible with the wings, but obviously that doesn't really matter for robot mode. His back is where you can store his gun, and his back is obviously the roof of his jet mode, as evident by the cockpit, which I forgot to mention is detailed with a nice transparent orange plastic. He can get shot in the back if possible. He can get shot on the side his leg that has an effect a five millimeter peg to put weapons on him so you can have something like that and obviously he has two blast effect compatible 5mm ports on both his feet one on the front and one on the back So yeah, there you have that. Final thoughts, he's perfect, he is tall, he's pretty much how Cyclonus should be for a mainline figure. If I haven't said it already, I'll say it again, this is probably, actually this is the best mainline Cyclonus figure you've ever gotten. Do I recommend him? Yes. I recommend him because he is that good of a figure. My recommendation is a 10 out of 10 because obviously for a void with all the articulation, the only accessory it comes with, the detail, and the 34 step transformation, he is that good. Now, if you are looking to complete your your 1986 Decepticons 
Cyclone is, is a must-have, and or if you're looking for a Decepticon to get in general, then Cyclonus might be one to look into, and he may be your first. So, yeah. There you have it, guys. My look and review for the Transformers Generations Wolf Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. Uh, now, some have argued that he should have been in Studio Series 86, but whether it's Kingdom or 86, it doesn't really matter because either way, he's still that good figure. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure to toss a like. Make sure to leave a comment, especially for those that I've given a shout out at the beginning of this review because I have seen who votes. Now, for those who are aware, I do votes and polls on my social media to show which figure of a certain character they would like to see next and Cyclonus got the most votes so I did give shout I did give shout outs at the beginning of the review when editing this video so for those who see that yeah anyways there you have it guys make sure to as I said before toss a like make sure to Give a comment, rate what you think of both the figure and the review. If you have him, is he worth it? And I can agree that he is definitely worth it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Destructive two minutes. For this child, you'll destroy us all! Come